it is absolutely not accurate. Yeah. And I will talk about that all freaking day long. Baby, I don't want to date anybody else. I know my worth, like a thousand percent. Like I, I know who I am. I know what I bring to the table and I know everything I'm worth. So with the Mark and LC drama, that shouldn't even be drama. They both agreed that they were not dating. They were not exclusive and they are both adults. And as adults, LC should have understood what happens when it's a booty call. Like it's, it, it's, even it was dating in a big city. Dude, like, it was like, friends with benefits. There was no commitment. There was just sex. And <laughs> it, the next problem that she had about it was the whole Corona deal. Look, if you want to sleep with somebody and have a booty call during the pandemic, you gotta take the, if you're taking the risk, you gotta accept the consequences if it goes bad. That's just what it was. There is no bad guy in that situation. You're both just adults that are facing the consequences of your actions. Like it happens. There was no bad guy there. The whole Jessica accusing Mark of cheating during the show, <sighs> that never happened. I was there and I spoke to Mark a lot about all the things that he was going through. First of all, as somebody that was also filming, he had no time for that, number one. Number two, Jessica was using Mark like a freaking yo-yo. One day telling him it was never gonna work, they wouldn't get married, and then the next day being all over him. So he was confused and struggling and was confiding in one of his friends during that time. And after the show was done, they tried to date. That's not cheating. That is Jessica pushing somebody away and then trying to make them look bad because she got called out because she was trying to cheat on him. Like, I am not going to allow anybody to pull Mark's name through the mud because he's a great guy and a good father and a good husband or fiance. Yeah, he is a great future husband. He's a good person. And all of that crap about him not being as good as he looked on TV, he was. He was. He was a sweetheart. Thank you. Sorry. I get to be muted. <laughs> I'm really defensive of my friends. Going through the experiment, I really kind of crashed and burned in front of the world. What do you think about seeing Jessica? Next question. If it were just our anniversary party, she would not have been there. So we weren't excited that she was there, but we also didn't have anything to say to her and didn't want to say anything to her. So there's no, like, I don't know. We, we avoided any interaction because there was no need for an interaction. So, I mean, for having her there, it was the best that we could possibly have asked for. <laughs> it could have been worse. Yeah. <laughs> what was your reaction to uh, Damien bringing another girl to the party? That was weird. It felt weird. It uh, just felt weird. Like, I wasn't sure what the dynamic was between anybody. And yeah. I feel like I was asking a lot of questions, trying to figure it out, and nobody really had a clear answer. So I don't even think they knew yeah, what the hell was going on, honestly. Uh, it was all 